Welcome to Urban Teacher TV, my name is Mark and today I'm going to be talking about Fimble. Now Fimble was developed here by Mozilla in 2012 and it was a tool that allowed you to kind of hack or remix code live on the um, browser. And since it's released, I think it was a really good tool to introduce web literacy and also how does things look when you're coding on a real life kind of level because I think sometimes when we're coding, we're only coding the back end and you can't necessarily see what's happening in the front end. So I think with the whole kind of uh, Fimble platform, it allows you to see both what's happening. And I think that helps young people and keeps them motivated to see that, do you know what? I can remix code and I actually can see some kind of improvement happening on the actual interface. I like it because one, you can also um, change the background, change the fonts, change the pictures, and also change the buttons on the actual page, which gives you kind of a really kind of feel that whatever you're making within the code, you can actually see some kind of progress. Um, another thing that was really cool, they've got a real um, good user interface. So say for example, you get stuck along the way or you need some extra tips, there's a lot of guys to actually help you. And one of the new features that they re um, recently was the whole fact of uh, multiple pages. So you can actually develop and code multiple pages compared to before you only had one page you can actually um, remix. Um, some of the downsides again is I thought when I was looking at Fimble was around um, assessment and measuring. So how do you how do you know if you're good or a bad or um, a progressing remix or a hacker on Fimble? And I think that's really difficult to probably um, establish. And I think that with teachers, you will definitely need to make that very clear with your students in terms of what it, does it mean to actually delve into the code and actually program it to a certain standard. Um, another um, thing I saw when uh, using Fimble is that when you actually enter into the interface, I think that it can be better kind of positioned in terms of, could you just, just land straight into it? And I think that with a little introduction or some kind of intro into the actual platform, it gives users um, a bit of a clearer hand in how to you know, navigate their way through the actual interface. But on the whole, I really like it because one, it's really giving young people an intro into web development, understanding what HTML, CSS works on the web. So make sure you check out Fimble. On the next episode of Urban Teacher TV, I'm gonna be exploring the Edison board, the internet of things in the classroom. So stay tuned to the next episode.